So you remember we talked about the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation and how uh, the father of Michael Brown, Michael Brown Sr., and they start calling out, you know, BLM Global Network Foundation because it came out that they had raised $90 million during the protest of George Floyd. So they said that after, you know, the public found this out and after that public pressure, all of a sudden, Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation wanted to meet with Michael Brown's father all of a sudden um, with his Michael Brown Chosen for Change Foundation. It said, and they said that they want to talk uh, through the issues that exist between the BLM group and the parents of police brutality victims. It's kind of simple with what, what it is. They said it in the video. You got broke off $90 million. They need 20 of that 90 million. It's not that hard to figure that part out. And if you're not coming there breaking bread, then what are you doing? Okay. Well, let's, let's get into, you know, the BS of this. So they said the March 20th, you know, meeting, um, came, you know, at the time after, you know, uh, Samaria Rice, you know, Michael Brown senior, you know, they, they called him out, you know, we talking about Tamir Rice's mom, she called him out. Um, she, they said Melina Abdullah, co-founder of Black Lives Matter of Los Angeles and Patrice Cullors, co-founder and executive director of Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation met with the nonprofit, um, CFC is what they call them, you know, uh, in person. They say would hopes to initiate a relationship, reconcile any misunderstandings and resolve any issues. See, when y'all have these meetings, y'all need to call your brother because I'm a no nonsense negotiator when it comes to certain things. You couldn't come to me talking about reconcile. Like what? Number one, what is that a reconcile? Why are you coming here? Bring the tide center here. Bring uh, Miss Tootie Scott here. Bring her because y'all coming here. Y'all don't control the bag. What are you talking about? We, we need that check. We need them folks that's controlling y'all. We don't, we don't want to talk to y'all. What are you, what are you coming here for? They giving you a check. We want the ones that, that the money going to. This is what you have to say. And saying, if you're not going to give the money like you're supposed to, then we will have to come out this meeting and then we will have to say they send the black faces to talk to us, but it's really the tide center that is running the money. Okay. We want to talk to you about this money. We don't want to talk to them. That's your black faces. I say, How dare you even insult us like that? Sending them here. See, I would shut that down real quick. See that that's what, that's why they won't feel around. And <laughs> they're like, Oh, he, 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 he talked to, to, you know, aggressive, you know, how it is a black male is aggressive. I said, no, a, bl a black male is, is passionate about what he's saying. In, in, when it comes to things like that, I'm tired of watching, you know, everything that, that happens to black folks, whether we are alive or dead. This, this same group of people is always finessing money off of us. And if money going to come anyway, it needs to come to this black community. So they said that, um, According to a statement, they said the CFC was told the focus of, of BLM will always be to end violence against black people, this man of white supremacy and fight for a future where black people are liberated from a state sanctioned violence. Um, lies. Let me tell you why it's lies. When you was giving all that money out and we read it, it was all trans, this trans, 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 trans. It had nothing about giving toward any group that's fighting against white supremacy and ending it. You was giving the money to get out the vote campaigns. That, that's not what Black Lives Matter was originally created for. It was created for ending white supremacy and fighting against uh, race soldiers. That's what it was for. It was, had nothing to do with no voting. So they sent the black faces to, I guess, blow smoke up their behind, I guess, right? So they said that in, in a statement, the groups appreciated, they said, the honesty in helping the group understand why communities and families directly impacted by police brutality are confused about the distribution of the funding. Oh my God. <sighs> Man, these people are so trained. They, they, them folks got them, them, them trained. Well, we just need to understand, you know, help us understand the error of our ways. You know, they send the black faces to do that. Okay. Like I said, I would have been offended by even seeing their faces. That's number one, because I know you don't hold the bag. That's why I've been offended. Number two, there's nothing to understand. You got $90 million. We need at least 20. If you ain't bringing a check, 
that, that oh, you're not about to wire that money to, the, to this bank account. What, what are you here for? I mean, what are you here for? It's, it's no reason to talk. I don't, it's nothing to understand. It's very simple. If you meant something, you say, Hey, g- give me, give me your, uh, uh, account number and your, your wire number. That's all we need to hear at that point. If you're not giving an account number or a wire number, then there's no, no reason to talk. Y'all have to be no nonsense to this. Don't let the black faces that they use come talk to you. Now, you know, continuing, um, you know, we know all the activists was called out, you know, as of recently. Now, according to the Michael Brown foundation, they said uh, they had not established any financial relationship or agreement with BLM global network, but the two foundations continue to develop a working relationship and focus uh, for the justice uh, for Michael Brown Jr. and support families impacted by community and police violence. So in other words, they, they went to a meeting, got nothing. Mm-mm-mm. Now, brothers and sisters in Ferguson, please hear your brother. They played y'all. And I'm like, what was the purpose of that meeting? And that's the first thing I'm saying, we want to talk. Why? What is the reason to talk? It's none. You could talk to me after that, after that 20 million hit that account. Then we could talk. Oh man, I work with y'all all day long. Cause you're serious now. Right? So I think y'all should continue that campaign against black lives matter global network foundation. Okay. They, they have $90 million that they got. They didn't give it to the people that actually started the whole thing in Ferguson. They didn't do that off of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. Y'all got, y'all got to keep that pressure up on, on these people, man. Y'all got to do it. You got to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, that finessing has to stop. It has to stop, but leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about, you know, the situation, you know, with, with, I mean, this, this is annoying. It is utterly annoying. I'm not annoyed with the brothers and sisters in Ferguson. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed with the finessing. I'm annoyed with how black folks will sit up there and be used for a check. That's selling out, man. Is is worldwide with us too as black people. Oh my God. That selling out is bad. It's bad from Africa to the Caribbean, to the, to the U S Canada, Latin America. Like we, we have a horrible trait in our, in our people about selling, selling each other out, man. Selling it out for, for coins at that. Why, why those people keep the million. 